Well, it's Surf Church Sunday. Not much wind, a little bit of wind, not much. Temperatures in the, got really cold last night in the 30s. It's about the 50s today, I think. I got, uh, I think I showed you this knife. This is the one the guru found on the beach the other day. He wants me to see if I can clean it up for him and get it out of there. It's all froze up inside the wooden handle. And then a lady brought me a kitchen knife this morning. That's the only two knives I've gotten. Hold on a minute. One of them Rikon, I call them, coated knives, you know. Like a Teflon or something, I don't, I don't know what it is. Okay. I un didn't unload my truck yesterday. I got to do that this morning. I just came on back there in the garage. Take all that junk out of there now. Go watch golf, I think. Came out pretty quick. A lot easier than I expected. I dusted it off a little bit with a wire wheel. Out she came. It says charade cutlery. Let's see if we can get it where you can see it. First production run. Town. She got a few deep pits in her, but she's okay. The lock don't work all that great. You got to hold the lock down with your finger right here, and then it won't close on you. But other than that, it's okay. Guru knife. Rikon knife, it turned out okay too. But there's not much to that, it just needed sharper. Time for golf. Well, it's sort of an overcast Monday morning. I'm headed to the uh, post office to return some sanding belt, sharpening belts that I got from uh, standby. Damn seat belt alarm goes off on this car. I had a phone's ringing. True grit. Somehow I ordered some belts <laughs> from last week and they sent me two by 72 belts. I called the guy up. I said, listen, I ain't got no history for no two by 72s. Where the hell did you get them from? Anyway, they sent me a call tag for them. I'm sending them back. I'm on the way to pick the leader up at the airport. She comes in in about 45 minutes. It's, it sounds like it's going to be sort of a knife day today. I got a, I'm on my way to pick up some knives first before the airport. I don't know how many knives, guys. He's got a bunch of knives, uh, sport knives, I think. And I'm supposed to pick up some restaurant knives from a restaurant in Virginia Beach. I'm waiting to hear from him. I got a heavy duty gold report for you, Doc Beaver. A.K.A. the new bullet man went back to the bullet patch yesterday and found uh, a fair amount of targets of different sorts but he did find a silver ring at least I think he said silver and two gold rings nice gold rings you know kind of old looking one was a plain band the other one was sort of a fancy looking ticket I'll put the link to uh, the Treasure Depot if you haven't already been on there and looked at them if you don't just Let's just go to Treasure Depot and search it. It'll pop right up. And left-hand side of the menu, there's a surface sand menu. Pull that surface sand up, and you'll see one of that Doc Beaver. Nice tickets he found, too, buddy. Got me excited. I don't know. <laughs> Spin is coming, I think. All right. I'll get back to you. I don't know what the uh, restaurant guy is going to give us, but I can tell you one thing. The guy with a few knives... Unbelievable. Look at that. Look at that taquita. And another one. They're getting smaller now. Good gracious me. It's got a lot of scooters tied up in knives. This is a double-edged dagger like. 
like one of those uh, old Gerber copies, you know. Okay, I'll give you a better picture of them later. On the way to the airport. Well, that is a Gerber. I thought it was a copy. That's a gathering of knives right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gracious me. I like them. I'm about to have one. No leader yet. Well, I got them out in the sunlight now. The rain is gone and the sun has popped out. Ontario Knife Company. gathering of knives. Big knives. Little knives. Now in this big box we have another taquito. But I know what this is. I heard it was coming. This is a cool ticket right here. In here is a custom made wooden stand for the Kalamazoo. Stand by a minute. Kalamazoo sits in here like this. Bolts down right there with them two bolts. This is the uh, vertical operation of it. You see it has feet on the bottom. But if you want to lay it down, you can turn it over. It's got feet on this side. You lay it down like that. I'm going to put it in there in a little bit. I'll show you how it works. It's from my buddy Peter in California. Acme Sharpening. Pretty nice ticket in it. Man, I like it. I'm not quite sure what this does. I just know it goes in here someplace. Like a brace. I don't know if it goes out here. I gotta look at the pictures again. But it goes, it's a component to this rig. Okay, that's it. All right, there it is, mounted horizontally on its two little feet, on its four little feet. You want to use it vertically? You just pick it up, turn it around, set it on the front feet. Pretty cool ticket. I must say so myself. Okay. I have to give it for a try in a day or two. <laughs> you got a birthday coming up pretty soon, Catman Do. It'll be another year in captivity. I heard from the scissor I mean I heard from the restaurant guy, he's postponed his scissors until uh Sunday week. What's the Deliver them on Sunday and get them back on Monday. I said that works for me. So all we got today is all those sport knives. You having a little supper, are you? And I'm waiting for my supper. I'm waiting patiently as the leader mixes it up. Catman, dude.